Uh, now, it's my pleasure to uh, introduce Senator Carol Brown, who with uh, Joanna Gash coordinates the Parliamentary Friends of Parkinson's group. The main purpose of the group, uh, she'll explain to us uh, herself, uh, and it's very important. We have a number of representatives from uh, Parkinson's Australia and the various states uh, here to have their supporters and their links into our parliament. Thank you, and I'm very pleased to be able to be here tonight for the launch of the DVD. Um, before I begin, I'd like to acknowledge my parliamentary colleagues that are here today, and uh, Jane Creswell, CEO of Parkinson's Australia, Kate, uh, Kate Brown, I, shouldn't, I don't know how I managed to stumble over that name, President of Parkinson's Australia, and other representatives from Parkinson's Australia here with us. Of course, Professor Richard Bitter, Dr Richard Pepper, uh, Dr David Westbrook, and of course, um, one of our guests today who will be addressing us later, Mr Peter Dutton, the Shadow Minister for Health. Thank you all for coming along. As most of you here are aware, I, along with uh, Joanna Gash, the member for Mil uh, Gilmore, co coordinate Parliamentary Friends of Parkinson's. The Parliamentary Friendship Group is a cross-party committee which works in conjunction with Parkinson's Australia to highlight the effects of Parkinson's and to educate members and senators on new research relating to the condition. Our aim is to promote and highlight the treatment and support options available for Parkinson's sufferers and their families and to better inform policy development in the area. At our last meeting in 2010, the Parliamentary Friends had the pleasure of meeting Dr Simon Lewis, who's the Director of Parkinson's Disease Research Clinic at the Brain and Mind Research Institute at the University of Sydney, and Sister Marilla Pereira, a nurse specialist in clinical neurophysiology and hearing. At, uh, and we were uh, happy to hear about the Shoalhaven project. We're, all wait, we're already hearing of the benefits of the Shoalhaven project in New South Wales. With, uh, the specialist nurse there is supporting over 140 Parkinson sufferers in the region. The Parliamentary Friendship Group has also worked hard to raise awareness about early onset Parkinson's. Last year we invited three young Parkinson's sufferers to share their stories and experience directly with men members and senators. We've also been uh, involved in the launch of the Parkinson's Rural and Remote Online GP Education Program. This resource was, uh, has assisted GPs and health professionals throughout Australia with immediate access to updated information to assist in the diagnosis, management and provision of support to Parkinson's patients. And only recently in my own home state of Tasmania, I met with Parkinson researchers at the University of Tasmania's Menzies Research Institute to gain an insight into their research. And I'm very happy, along with Joe to be able to, under the banner of Parliamentary Friends for Parkinson, to have the opportunity to hear and view uh, information about the deep brain st uh, stimulation as a treatment option for Parkinson's and an educational DVD for patients, families and doctors. I know that many of our parliamentary colleagues hope to join us this evening, but some have been required to uh, go to Gov Government House for address and reply and, and have forwarded apologies. And whilst they may not be able to be here physically, I understand that um, many MPs and senators uh, have asked for a copy of the DVD, and we will, of course, make sure that those copies are circulated. It is important that we all make the effort to raise awareness about support for sufferers and their families as we work towards not just treatment, but prevention of a disabling neurodegenerative con condition like Parkinson's. And I thank you, and again, uh, thank Parkinson's Australia for involving the parliamentary friends. Thank you.